on my lunch break reading the Bible and um, I'm just thinking to myself um, I made a comment on a video of, of a Christian rap um, video and it's very worldly sounding like in the you know Christian rock and Christian country um, I can't listen to it uh, the spirit just don't want me listening to it it's too uh, worldly um, the beat it's not right for the gospel um, the Lord tells us in his word to listen to his hymns and uh, you know that kind of stuff um, you know when you listen to the old gospel hymns uh, that's gospel music that's the stuff that God wants uh, you to play unto him um, you know, when we start getting into the uh, the bebop and the uh, the certain kind of instrumental play that um, grabs our attention, um, I think it, it 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 leads us away from the Lord and brings us to our own emotions, uh, you know, and that worldly stuff. And uh, you know, that to me is uh, lukewarm. Uh, you know, the Bible. Um, when I read the Bible. Uh, and then I hear um, the worldly music that, like, uh, the radio station K Love plays, uh, you know, and the people want to glorify God in their um, whatever type of music that they like. Hey, if you're not glorifying God and singing, you know, praises unto Him, uh, and not and leaving out the uh, the upbeat um, instrumental stuff that people use in this world for their music. Uh, you're lukewarm. It's lukewarm music. I don't care what anybody says. Um, we need to come out from among the world and uh, not partake or, or make God's things worldly things like the world wants to do. There's such a big church out there in the world today that don't understand that they're glorifying the world in their church and they think that God's good and you know they're just happy. Have your best life now. You got your um, prosperity gospel programs you know God forgives no matter what um, as long as you believe and uh, call upon the name of the Lord um, you'll shall be saved um, yeah the Bible does say that but when you put all the, the scriptures together uh, to believe is to obey um, to be holy and without holiness no man will see God uh, getting a little bit of arguments with people uh, with the, you know the texting back and forth a little bit I'm a little harsh, you know, but I do love them, but I mean I do get a little anger angry But be angry and sin not um, You know what can I say to these people uh, that don't understand? I can't say anything They're gonna have to or you you're gonna have to read your word man and open it up and start listening to it um, all of it, you know, quit listening to your church, quit listening to your pastor because he's leading you astray. Um, you need to seek the truth out for yourself and and, uh, and not be so proud and think that you can bring the world um, into, the, into the gospel and make this happy, uh, go lucky, um, I'm a child of God uh, nonsense and uh, start submitting to the whole word of God and uh, denying the things of this world come out from the things of this world because um, you're either a friend of the world and an enemy of God or you're a friend of God's a follower of God's and an enemy of the world and there's way too many Christians out there being friends with the world when you should be out in the streets preaching hell fire and telling people to repent period God commands all men everywhere to repent because there's coming a day when he's going to judge this world in righteousness. And when you uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you give your whole life to him. You turn from all your sins, all your willful sins. And if you make a mistake, you have an advocate with the Father who's faithful and trustful to forgive you of all sin. And that's a if. And what's God uh, tell you to do, true believers? He says go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature whether they want to hear it or not. He says to proclaim our voice like a trumpet. He says we're to labor for him. And laborers are few. Just like the Bible said, the road is very narrow and very few um, are chosen. And uh, the Bible also says many are called and few are chosen. 
So you need to, you need to take those verses and you need to think about it and 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 uh, do a valuation of your own life. Look into your own life and see what you're doing. I'm not saying that you're not going to be tempted and uh, y your mind might get a little, you know, but you can bring all things back under the obedience of Christ. All things. And God gives you a way out every time. And if you start falling away, God comes back to you as fast as you're falling. is as fast as God will pick you right back up if you're meditating and following the Word of God every day and you're meditating on His Word. And you're in his word and you're following him and, and you're repenting and you know the willful stuff you know you, uh, you can uh, you can definitely repent of that stuff you know when you're in sin because to you if you know it to be sin to you it is sin you know you cannot do it and if you do it well it's just a sure sign you're not a child of God and uh, God does not hear your prayers John 9 uh, chapter uh, verse 31 it's clear as day repent or perish Luke 13 3 uh, go and sin no more John 8 11 uh, other verses the Bible says if you love me you will obey me short message but to the point um, there's a lot more scripture that'll back all this up you know there's nothing gray in God's Word it's either for or against you're either a believer or you're not you're either a saint or you're a sinner you're either redeemed or you're not you're not a sinner you're was a sinner now you're a saint if you're believing and following obeying the gospel but no sinner has any inheritance in god's kingdom you must become born again john 3 3 the bible says and if you're lukewarm god's going to chew you up and spit you out of his mouth that's revelations 3 6, 16 so you better start waking up you lukewarm christians because god is angry with you more than anybody and you're going to have the worst time in hell it's going to be harder for you because well guess what you have the truth and you still want to fall on that once saved always saved nonsense when God commands you to hold fast to repent to obey till the end because you're never gonna you, the devil's always gonna tempt you your flesh is always gonna be in rebellion of, of your spirit that's why you got to walk with the Lord you got to walk in the spirit and if you walk in the spirit you will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh God bless you